but it happened to be this one. Of all the chapters, it had to be this one. And then the Virgin Mary was pregnant, even though she had never had sex in her entire life. Um, I have a question. What is it? How... how I, I don't really understand this chapter. Like, how... Is she pregnant? She's never even had sex in her life! Like, how do you even have a baby without- Just don't question it. Obviously, that was not a direct quote from the book, but it gets the point across. After that weird chapter, it was finally time for us all to go to bed. I'm part of a family who are all huge bookworms. In fact, most of our house is filled with books. So I, of course, brought one of my favorite books. Boom! One of my favorite books ever. I had just placed it on the floor. You know, I was really tired. I wasn't really thinking. I just put it on the floor. But sadly, someone stole it! Ha <laughs> They'll never catch me! <sighs> yeah, good times. We did a lot of arts and crafts there. Most of our arts and crafts involved crosses and all those great things. But this one time, we made horse bandanas. I mean, what could go wrong? Making amazing bandanas with horses on them? Paint paints, paint any paint paints, painting in my horse. You know what, maybe I could just write a help message down here. That way my mom, when she comes and picks me up, she'll know how much I'm actually hate this place. I... Hate horse camp someone please save me. Later that day. Hey Ren, you're really good at drawing horses. Can I see your bandana? Me without thinking. Oh yeah, sure, here it is. It was the second after I had handed it to them that I realized how wrong what I had just done was. Wait. There's writing? What does this say? You hate horse camp and want someone to save you? What is wrong with you? I, um, I'm gonna take that back now. Thanks. Side note! Okay, you guys did not see that, but actually when I was being the person who was reading the bandana, I threw it so hard that it bounced off of my bed and like did a somersault, then it just like went, Whee! I believe I can fly! Get back here! Then them and a whole lot of the other counselors said that they would tell the main manager counselor people that I did not like it and that I would never be allowed back to this place ever again. They for some reason thought that I was gonna be like, Oh my god, you're gonna take me away from this place? Why won't I be able to come back? I'm sorry! I don't hate it here! I love it here! Please let me come back! When really I was like, well, that's foul with me, girl! But really on the outside I was more like, yeah, man, that's cool. Okay, maybe I'm not a gangster, but you get what I'm saying. So the whole time I was there, the whole time that I was going insane, the whole time I was absolutely hating it, I was remembering that when I get home, I was gonna start a fun school. I, for some reason, was so excited about school! I don't know why. I think it might have actually just been like, I really want to be with my mom more, or like something weird like that. But I was so excited to do school! So the whole time I was there, I was like, oh my god, when I get home, I can do school, I can do school, I can do school, I can do school! Ah! Oh my god, when I get home, I can do school! Uh, that did not end up so well for me. I'll tell you guys about that in just a second because I totally forgot to tell you guys some other really important information. On the last day of horse camp, we were gonna do like that show sort of thing for the parents with all the horses and all that stuff, so we all had learned like tricks throughout the time that we were there. So I was supposed to do this thing where like, it was like the keyhole something, something like that, where you'd like go into this thing and they'd like turn around and they'd come back out. I don't know, it, it looked like an old timey keyhole. All the other girls were doing like jumps and amazing stuff like that because may I remind you, they were professionals at this stuff. They already had their own horses. My parents were eagerly watching, expecting for me to be super happy about the whole place and expecting for me to be really happy. I shunned them. I refused to look at them. I did not want to have anything to do with them. I was so pissed at them for bringing me here. Before the show, they told us this. If anyone is uncomfortable about their tricks or anything like that, that is perfectly okay. You don't have to do it. Just let us know beforehand so that someone else can do a trick. So I, of course, nodded, thinking in my head, this is going to be a really good way to get out of this. I was on my horse, I was ready to do the keyhole, then I remembered what they just told me. I didn't have to do it. So then I looked over at them and I'm like, hey, um, I'm too scared, can I just not? So then they looked at me and they were like, girl, what do you think you're doing? You cannot do that, you cannot do that, you have to do something. Why would you ever want to not do it? I mean, look at this, your parents are watching, they want to watch you do this. You cannot stop this. You have to do your son. This was the part where I just kind of had an emotional breakdown, an anxiety attack, and everything all at once. I laid my head down on the horse, I just started crying. Thankfully they did not see that though, and they continued on with the show. Then my parents came over. They were like, Ren, we missed you so much! And I was just like, I hate you. After the show, they had a barbecue. They invited everyone to come to it, and my parents were planning to stay for it. Because they thought that I'd really enjoy staying there, and they thought that I'd have a really fun time. I instead was like, Mom, come here. 
Right, yeah, we're gonna leave right now. My mom was very confused, but thankfully got in the car and we drove off. But as we were about to leave, Sunny pulled us over. Is everything okay? I thought they were had a really fun time here. Why are you guys leaving so early? Do you want to stay for the barbecue? My mom then nicely was like, no, um, um, I think we're an excuse. Come on, you can do this. Oh, yeah, um, uh, she, she's sick. Yeah, that's, that's why we have to go. All right, um, bye. And then on the way home, I was pouring out all my feelings about horse camp. You know, I was telling her all these awful stories. Then I said, but mom, the thing that helped me get through horse camp was the memory of that when I get home, we're gonna finally start back up on school. I cannot wait to start back up on school with you. How do I say this? Um, we, you know what, let's get some Froyo. I, of course, was kind of confused, but sure, why not? I love Froyo. Then we got into the Froyo place. I had a really good time getting as many things as I could, and then, so Ren, um, how do I say this? We, we you're not gonna get a startup on school. Um, wait, what are you talking about? What do you mean I'm not gonna get a startup on school? We're, um, we're, we're moving in eight days. What are you talking about? Wait, what, what are you talking about? Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna need to pack up pretty fast and, I'm sorry, honey, we're gonna need to start up on school later. I, at this point, broke into an emotional wreck. I just wanted to start up on school. In fact, this was my sixth time moving. May I remind you, I was only nine years old. In fact, I have now moved 11 times in 14 years. Somebody please save me. That week of moving was one of the most excruciating times of my life, and I absolutely hated it. And in fact, I have a lot more excruciating camp stories and moving stories and all that stuff, which I will save for another episode, so stay tuned for that stuff. In fact, I just realized that this is my first video with my new hair. So here it is. Woohoo! Alright, well I should probably go now because my camera is dying. I have been filming for like literally an hour and my voice is going away. If you have not noticed, I actually am not talking very well right now because my voice is actually hurting and I'm suffering, but I'm suffering for you guys. Remember that later on. Ow. Oh my god, that hurts so bad. Okay, well, whew, I am so tired, so done. Believe in yourself, you can do anything. I hope you have an amazing day and I love you.